That's a great question. There's a traditional view that workforce analytics is a maturity journey, a pyramid if you like, that starts with base data and processes and getting that right and gradually moves through a journey to greater sophistication, which culminates in predictive analytics and strategic workforce planning. I actually view it as reversed. I think organisations should start with strategic workforce planning. By all means, the other stuff is critical to build ongoing visibility and accountability and monitor and track your workforce and how you're achieving outcomes. But for me, strategic workforce planning is the way to truly link business strategy with HR programs, and that should be done up front. Businesses need to understand what they're trying to achieve and how that has workforce implications. And that should be the starting point to drive programs and interventions from the HR journey. Knowing your existing workforce size and shape and how that will or will not help you to achieve your competitive advantage and business strategy is the key starting point for organisations. It should inform how you attract and source employees, how you develop and mobilise them, how you retain, engage and reward them. Strategic workforce planning does that. It should be the starting point and not the end point in an analytics journey.